You know, just listen to your body. It'll tell you what to do. It'll tell you right from wrong. It'll tell you everything you need to know, when you need to know it. And that's why you see and feel and hear things, you know. And that's why now you will harness the gift and learn how to use it instead of it using you. You have the control, not the spirit. And yeah, I've, I've met other people who say, no, you're wrong. Okay, well, that doesn't work for me. Because let me tell you, Boogeyman zippity doo da ain't walking through my door. He is not permission to be in my house. You better get the fuck out. I'm saging my place down, and I tell God, get him the fuck out of here. Whoosh. It's like something out of the twilight. Like, what zone. do you do with the information? Who brings it? I want to say, since I haven't done a guided meditation with you, your higher guides and teachers are trying to show you, little by little, with little snips of information, that's going to change now, yeah. You're going to sleep really good tonight. I hope I get this uploaded tonight. You're going to, well mark my word people, <laughs> today is what the uh, 14th, you're going to sleep really heavy tonight, you're going to sleep really good, you're going to sleep so good to the point tomorrow, you're going to first wake up kind of groggy, and then poof, it'll be like, oh, that was refreshing, oh good, I had a great night's sleep, oh yeah, let's eat breakfast, you know, who brings it, um, I believe your higher teachers and guide bring information to you to share with the world, universe, planet, whatever you want to call it. It's your gift. Use it or lose it. Yeah, a lot of people, it can be put on hold. If you stay in this unknowing stage, it'll just like linger a little bit. You get snips, little bits here, little bits there, um, which isn't going to be fun. So just decide to decide to, you know, shit or get off the pot, sis. Uh, and your teachers will send you teachers to learn from down there where you live in SoCal. Mm. Could you imagine having meditation on the beach? Oh, wow, awesome. We should do that. <laughs> uh, greatness, yes. See, now when you get a reading, like right now, I'm kind of sort of tuned in and trying to calm down. And I'm, you know, always grounded. But see, until I have a date, time, and place, then I'm like, okay, Jeray's people, she's going to be here. Six o'clock, be there. And I tell my teachers and guys, Black Hawk and um, Sonia, Nancy, Dr. Um, Charles, Butterfly, Starlight, go get her teachers, go get her people, bring her here because she's going to have questions. Have the answers ready before she even asks the questions. You see, so the lady telling you that she sees greatness for you, well, that came true, right? You are great. At all things you do, you are great. And I'm not just saying that to like, you know, give you a pat on the back. You are great. You know? And you will be greater. But keep in mind, there's no time on the other side. Angels don't have no time. So that's why when you get a reading, you say, oh, well, I see a three. It's a small three, so it could be, you know, three days to, you know, three weeks. And the bigger three is three months or three years. You know, all that can change. Bloop, bloop, blinking of an eye, depending on your free will. Free will matters above any and everything. Because if you don't have the free will to learn, it ain't going to happen. If you don't have the free will to seek, to desire, to want, whatever, something bigger and better outside of yourself. Well, for yourself first, because you always have to come first, even before your child. You know, on the airplane, they tell you, cover yourself first. Then the child, yeah, somebody needs to breathe, think, you know. You have to love yourself first, or else nothing can be. So, hang on to the greatness. It's yours. Don't say it belongs to anybody else, or everybody else is great. You and I both know everybody else ain't great. I'm not going to tell no lie, okay? I am not, yeah, you're great in one thing, I'm great in another thing, but my greatness has nothing to do with your greatness. My greatness is the fact that I'm finally thought to stop being afraid and get on YouTube to talk to you, to meet you, to meet Yolanda, to meet, you know, Rose, to meet everybody, you know, the YouTube family, and grow. It took me a while because I was scared. I was scared, and I thought, that's stupid. If I could tell somebody, you know about themselves, I can get on here and tell about myself, you know? So, yeah, greatness, keep it, accept it. It's yours, 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 yours. She wasn't talking to nobody else, I hope, just you and her. Okay, the zoning out, um, shifting, separation of soul. Sometimes you do what we call you astral travel, which is, sounds to me like what happened. 
your body attached to a silver cord thread whatever your soul leaves your body goes traveling around throughout there and then you see yourself down there in the bed or wherever and because um, you can meditate and just leave your body I went to Pluto a couple of times it was because it, it took me five years five years but that's just me it could happen faster for you I don't know um, it was heavenly anyway I'll, just, I'll blog about that one day so yeah it's possible to have the zooming the zoom out the shift the soul separation thing and I think in my opinion only when that cord is severed from your body to your soul is when you die and you stay on the other side until you decide to come back reincarnation why do I have these feelings you have these feelings again because it's part of your gift have I been here before yes you have and I believe it was for uh, the Queen of Zululand that's the first thing I saw in my head um, when you asked the question I saw uh, um, I saw Shaka Zulu excuse me I saw the character that played Shaka Zulu on Channel 9 many 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 years ago um, you have been here hang on a second They're showing me 17, so I'm assuming you've had 17 lives at least. At least. And it looks like now in my head, as I tune in a little better, obviously, a film strip. And there's splits, you know, in each little film segment, there's this high back, um, you know, type king's type chair. So in most of your lives, you were of great hierarchy. Um, from my point of view go, for some reason it's going backwards it's going right to left I don't know why maybe that's for you to figure out they're not telling me so over here these like first seven there's like the high back chair and you got your crown and they're different forms of hierarchy you know you got a staff you got a, a mace you have a wand you have you know whatever and then there's a lifetime over here where I can see you in like Cinderella's tattered clothes and whatnot but most of them have been okay I mean okay as in um, yeah well we'll go on on that later you can ask me about that when I give you your reading uh,